Welcome back to FX Limit, where we delve deep into Forex trading strategies to help you level up your trading game. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most influential economic indicators out there, the unemployment rate, and how you can use it effectively in your Forex trading strategy. Now, if you've been trading for a while, you know that economic indicators can significantly impact currency prices. The unemployment rate is one of those indicators that traders across the globe keep a close eye on. It's a key measure of economic health, reflecting the percentage of people actively looking for work but who can't find it. So, why is it such a big deal in Forex trading? Let's break it down. When the unemployment rate is high, it signals that an economy might be struggling. Fewer people working means lower overall spending, which can slow down economic growth. This often leads to a weaker currency because investors lose confidence in the economy. On the other hand, when the unemployment rate is low, it suggests a robust economy with strong consumer spending and higher economic growth, which typically strengthens the currency. But here's the thing. Just knowing these basics isn't enough. You need to know how to react to unemployment data when it's released and how to incorporate this knowledge into your trading strategy. First, timing is everything. Unemployment reports are released monthly, usually in the first week of the month. These reports can create a lot of market volatility. As a trader, you need to be prepared for these fluctuations. One effective technique is to avoid entering new trades just before the release of the unemployment data, as the market can move unpredictably in the minutes following the announcement. However, if you're confident in your analysis, trading right after the data release can be profitable. For example, if the unemployment rate drops significantly below expectations, you might consider going long on the currency of that country, anticipating that the currency will strengthen. Conversely, if the rate is higher than expected, a short position might be more appropriate. But let's not forget about the trend. Understanding the longer-term trend is crucial because a single month's data might not tell the whole story. This is where tools like the Apex Trend Indicator come in handy. It helps you identify whether the market is in an uptrend or downtrend, allowing you to align your trades with the prevailing market direction. Imagine this. You're monitoring the unemployment rate in the US if the data shows a consistent decrease over several months, indicating a strengthening economy. The apex trend indicator might show a steady uptrend for the USD pairs. With this confirmation, you can be more confident in taking long positions. The indicator not only shows the trend but also provides you with buy and sell signals, making it easier to execute your trades at the right time. Another powerful aspect of using the Apex Trend Indicator is its non-repainting signals. This means that once a signal is given, it doesn't change, ensuring that you're always working with reliable data. Whether the unemployment rate influences a sudden market shift or supports a long-term trend, having an accurate tool like this gives you an edge. Now, back to the unemployment rate itself. Another technique is to compare the unemployment rates between different countries. For example, if the unemployment rate in the Eurozone is rising while the US rate is falling, it could signal a weakening Euro USD pair. In this case, the apex trend indicator might show an ongoing downtrend for Euro USD, and with its alerts, you can stay on top of any potential entry points for a short trade. Let's talk about risk management for a moment. The volatility that comes with unemployment data releases can be both an opportunity and a risk. You must have your stop loss level set to protect your trades in case the market moves against you. The apex trend indicator assists with this by dynamically calculating stop loss based on support and resistance levels or ATR multipliers, helping you to manage your risk effectively. So, how do you put all of this into practice? Here's a quick strategy you can use the next time you're trading around unemployment rate data. Step 1. Watch the calendar. Mark the date and time of the unemployment rate announcement in your trading journal. Step 2. Analyze the trend. Before the data release, check the trend on the apex trend indicator. Is the pair you're interested in trending up or down? Is the trend strong or weak? Step 3. Prepare for the announcement. If you're planning to trade the release, set up your trade parameters. Determine your entry points, take profit levels, and stop loss. 
The Apex Trend Indicator can help you pinpoint these with its clear buy and sell signals and its ability to calculate take profit and stop loss dynamically. Step 4. Execute your trade. Once the data is released, and if it aligns with your analysis, enter your trade. Use the indicator to confirm that the market is moving in your favor. Step 5. Monitor and adjust. Keep an eye on the trade and adjust your stop loss as needed. The Apex Trend Indicator's alerts will help you stay informed about any shifts in the market that might require you to take action. Remember, while the unemployment rate is a crucial indicator, it's just one piece of the puzzle. Combining it with other economic data and technical analysis will give you a more comprehensive view of the market. And with the Apex Trend Indicator by your side, you'll be able to navigate these market shifts with greater precision and confidence. So, the next time you see that unemployment rate report coming up, don't just watch it, trade it. Use the strategies we discussed, leverage the tools available to you, and take your forex trading to the next level. Thanks for watching FX Limit. If you found this video helpful, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a specific topic you'd like us to cover next. Happy trading, and we'll see you in the next video.